Bad news if you were looking to cool down at local lakes. Many parks and boat ramps remain closed from the flooding that Central Texans saw nearly two months ago, and it's not looking much better for the July 4th holiday weekend. At least that's the case at Stillhouse Hollow Lake. Today I talked to the lake manager to find out why. As lake manager, John Thibodeau is checking the conditions of Stillhouse Hollow Lake daily. You can see um, we still have asphalt water over the asphalt. For nearly two months, he's been dealing with the lake being well over the conservation pool on top of parks and boat ramps being closed and some looking like this. We suffered a fair amount of debris, as you can see behind me, that have inundated the ramp. He's had to make the call to keep those same spots closed for the 4th of July holiday following protocol and making longevity a priority. We're still waiting on the water to recede past this line. Um, we wait two weeks for the parking lots and everything above the boat ramp that's asphalt to dry out. If he rushes the drying out period, the public's access would be further delayed. Oh, I know it seems hard to wait those two weeks, but if we can wait two weeks, everything will be dry, ready to go, and we won't have to suffer six months, a year of trying to fix damaged roads. Thibodeau says because the spring flooding was so widespread, the release of the lake has been slower, delaying cleanup too. But Stillhouse Hollow Lake is getting closer to being open for summer fun. With a lot of the lakes being flooded and a lot of the parks being closed, as they do start coming open, they will be busy. We ask that you please be patient at the boat ramps, be patient getting into the parks. Um, we're going to have a few parks with a lot of people who want to use them, so just take your time, be patient, and expect the crowds. Well, as the drying out and cleanup of the parks continue, some access points around Stillhouse Hollow Lake will be opening this month. You are urged to check the park status before visiting to save you some time and convenience. You can also view that information on our website. That's KCNTV.com.